Hey, Wood Turners, I'm Captain Eddie Castellan. Boy, it's a beautiful day outside. Yep, great for ducks, fish, small swimming things, because um, it's raining and it's about to get cold. I mean, well, all right, we're 72 degrees right now. We're going to be 32 tomorrow morning. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, for South Louisiana, that's a major event. And it's the week before Thanksgiving. It's time for it to start cooling off a little bit. But, you know, I get a lot of phone calls and a lot of mail. And I generate a lot of information. And if you ever need me, you can always call me if you got a question about something, if you're looking for something. And give me a call. Oh, the number right here. 504-715-0512. Now... If you have questions on wood turning, ah, now that is something I love to talk about and I'd be glad to help you out with. But you know what you got to do first, right? Still have got this all buttoned up. Yeah. Huh. You got to watch. Whoa, they had some dust on the in here. Sorry for the glare. Okay. There we go. I got my hat on. This is from Ron Radler. Sent me a hat. Ron and I both fought the Vietnamese in the Great War of... Well, it went on forever in a day. But, hey, we were there, and we are honestly veterans. He put in a whole, the whole... forever. I didn't. Uh, almost five years, and they told me, you know, if you leave, it's okay. I must have had an influence on the United States Air Force, a big influence, because every single base I went to in the beginning, they have closed. Yeah. I don't know if it was really me, but they're closed. All right, now let's talk a little, oh, wait, 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 I get a lot of calls about do you still sell the cutters? Yeah, we still sell the cutters. Management runs that into the business. Management runs my end, her end, the end. She runs everything. She's got the cutters. You call, you can talk to me. But do me a favor. Go to your shop. And when you need a cutter, just grab the cutter, that you, you, the tool you want to replace, or get a size on it. Take your micrometer and measure it. And when you get done, even if you don't have a digital, you can see what the dimension is right there. This is a 14 millimeter. At 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Right on the money. All you got to do is count it off the thing. The little stuff, the battery died. Yeah, I know I got a box full of minute kitchen trough. But you got to remember them when you go in. And honestly, if my name's not on my underwear, I wouldn't know whose underwear I'd have on. So, we have the cutters. We have 10 or 12 shapes of them. We'll get the little diamond, the little triangle, we'll get the little round, get the... I get so many calls and guys say, I got the wrong cutter. You got the wrong cutter. But you can always put an envelope, put a note in it, please, and send it back to us and we'll get you the right cutter. We'll pick up the post that's going to return to the trip. We do that. Why? because we're trying to help you out. And I didn't charge you per cutter to mail them to you. One thing, I had to pay for the package, and I'll do that. Now, we have all those shapes, and they come three in a pack. Why? Because my three cutters cost a little bit more than the other guy's one cutter. So, you're saving a lot of money on getting the cutters. All right? And we actually get some folks to package them for us. They're veterans. And they, they're, well, they're sort of like I am. I'm disabled, but they're a little bit more disabled than I am. And we're helping them out by letting them help us with our packaging. So you're helping a veteran when you do this. Helping this veteran and that veteran, probably a couple other veterans too. But, you know, we're all out there. Okay. But if you need details on the cutters, go to www.acastelwin.com. Look them up. Look under cutters only for just cutters. 
look under combos for combos. And if you're looking for a copy of the tips package and all that other stuff, go to sharing information. And then there's some BS things about about the, the great mighty war of Vietnam and all that stuff. So <clears throat> that's where you get all that stuff. Now, when you're turning, you you've always got a little something, right? What why, why I gotta ask you this. Why did you get into this? You're about my age, I'm 66. Some of you guys are just kids in their late 50s, early 60s, and the rest of y'all are seasoned. That's a nice way of saying old. But you got into this because it's a fun hobby, and I can go in the shop, you can go in the shop, and in a couple hours, you can come out and say, Hey babe, look what I made. You know, or this is for my grandbaby and I did it so special and all. All right, you get gratification in this art or this hobby faster than anything else you can do, except if you're a runner. If you're a runner, all you do is go running. But if you do anything else, and I'm too old to run, then you need to turn things. All right, this is a real nice piece I did. Did this last year before I had a stroke. And that's essentially what I had, and I had a stroke. Um, got this piece, and I turned it, and I thinned it, and the wall is really thin. And he, I, what I want you to see is, take a look at this. No cracks. No cracks, no gaps, no crumblies, not a lot of tool marks. This is nice. This is real nice. Really. And, and you can say, well, what good is that? It's a crooked bowl. No, I do some art giveaways, and this, that's where this will eventually go. I'll put a finish on it. But now it's all dried up and all. I can go take, take my little two-inch wheel on my sander. Oop. You know, I talk about that and I forget where it's take this air-powered sander. <coughs> I don't put the air to it. Cup this up and sand the heck out of it. Comes out really nice and smooth. And then I go through all the grits and then I'll put a finish on it and all that. It's a simple thing to do and it really makes it gorgeous. And people enjoy looking at beautiful wood. They really do. It's amazing. With all the plastic we have in our lives, and every day Mr. Corian and Bob Corian, y'all know Bob, right? He made a countertop this in your kitchen. Bob Corian comes out with a new color, and everybody's got to have that color. And, and, and then, you know, you, you have, you lose the wood. You really do. So you want the wood back in your life. This is back in your life. It's easy to do. This is a piece of, I believe this is pear. I want to call it pear. All right? It's going to be gorgeous. It'll get so, it'll get, when I put the texture, the finish on it, it's going to get some texture. It's going to get some warmth and some color. But I want to share this with somebody. I want to tell somebody I turned this. Maybe it's you. I'm looking at Facebook every day. And if you want me to, you can look me up on Facebook and I'll, I'll go ahead and make a friend of you. You can look at all the BS I put on there. But with something like this, I need to take a picture of it. Now, I can pop this out on the lathe. Just like this. I'll show you how I'm going to do this. Oop. I tip it down. Put it on a lathe and you snap a picture. What I would do is whip out my, my Nikon. Now, this is a Nikon 5100. It's kind of it's, it's a step in money. But I got this for one reason. Because when I do something, I can see what the edge image is going to be right there on that screen. Not all Nikons do this. So, I'm going to put it down. And I'm going to pop off the picture. Take a look at this. Okay. You know what the problem is? Not that bowl. 
all the other crap I have in the picture. I mean, the lake bed is there, the tools there, the dust is there. You know, people actually ask me if I've ever cleaned up my shop. And I tell them, December the 8th, 2001. Yeah. It was right after the hurricane hit. We had to get the stuff out the way in order to get in and fix the roof. So we cleaned it. That's a monumental move on my part, okay? To clean it. But I have all this other crap to see. Now, I used an icon. You could use your little Plantronics, you could use your uh, Rico, um, any of your little pocket cameras. Now, you, you could get it on this. Yeah, that's an iPhone or one of those ugly plastic cases. You can just turn it and get a picture on it. It's not that bad. I want to show you this. But, here's the deal. All of them I don't know. I thought I took a picture of them. Guess we'll have to do it again. Now, you see that? But you see what I'm seeing? All this other stuff in the picture. I get some pictures and stuff because I want to do a newsletter every month. And it's on the front page of my website. A newsletter. And for me to generate that newsletter, I like to throw in some pictures. I don't want to keep taking pictures of my stuff. I want to show your stuff. The stuff you worked on. The stuff that you say, hey, I did this because I learned from you. Good. Take the picture. Send it to me. But let me show you a few little tricks on how to take that picture. It's going to make them so much better, so much cleaner, so much easier. You ready? Watch. This is my backdrop. Now, this is going to be here for the piece to sit on so I can take a good picture of it. So I have the backdrop. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. And I'm going to put the piece on it. Then you get the same camera out. See it? Same camera. And I'm going to take a picture. Now, I want to put these pictures up and show you the first and the second. But first, we talk about this. We, we talk about this bubble. What is the backdrop? What is the backdrop? Backdrop is some of that weed block you get at the Home Depot or the Lowe's to go into your into your gardens. I bought this to put in my rose garden. And it's a nice simple piece. See it? It's my plastic lake on the back side. And it's the nice gray, mottled gray on the outside. And I got it rolled around a cardboard tube. And a couple of spring clamps to hold it up with. This is nice. This is really, see, you can roll it right back up on a cardboard tube. It, it's, it's in. I put the spring clamps on it to keep it from unraveling. But then I go put it back in a closet. And I've got a backdrop that I can use to take pictures out here in the shop, on the lathe, elsewhere in the store in, a, in the, the place. And it all comes out nice and clean because the only chance of some parts of it getting dirty, those parts are out here on the outside and they're about seven inches long. And it really doesn't matter.
just said, I had to take a call on that 715-0512 number. Um, guys looking for things, cutters, parts, pieces, and all that. Now, uh, he, unfortunately, unfortunately, I tried to make the Blackhawk sharpening jig and rig all over again. And I figured, I can do all that. Alright, here's the problem. I had a brain tumor and they removed it. Well, some of my organizational skills still haven't come back. So I have about 200 pounds of steel out there that I've cut out. And it's junk. Because I cut it wrong, cut it bad, and then I tried to recut it. And then I started jamming up my saw. Then realized, well, you can't recut unless you build a jig. You can't build a jig because I can't do this, can't do that. There'd be no more of that. The, the, I'm selling the last one. A guy from California just called him. I think he'll get the last one we have. <clears throat> if I can't ever make any more, I'll put them back on the website. Okay? Now, I was talking photographs. Now, here is the first photograph, and maybe the second one too, of the piece sitting out on the lake. And I popped the picture up. Now, take a look at this. If you know what you see, and you're looking for it, you can appreciate it. If you don't know, or it doesn't stand out really well, you can't appreciate it. So, that's when the drape that I showed you comes in. Now, don't use a white sheet. It reflects way too much light. If you got a pale blue sheet, or a blue sheet, or something slightly mottled, mottled meaning color mixed, all right? That'll work also. Watch reflection. Pop a couple of test pictures before you decide on it. If you want to roll of this stuff, you go to the home and garden section at the Home Depot and you look for a weed block. Weed block, B-L-O-K. They don't spell good. They just do weed block. All right, and you get a roll of this, it's not that much money, and it works good for the backdrop. If you got a wood turning buddy, sell him what you don't need for what you paid for. I didn't say he was a good buddy, he's just a buddy. But, you know, or you can be a real pal. That's one step up from buddy. It's pal, buddy, friend. Be a real pal, sell it to him for half and give him half. Uh, or be a real friend and buy him a roll too. That's how you spread this out. That's how I do this. I got so many things on permanent loan out of here, it's unbelievable. But they're all on permanent loan to folks who have a need for them or could use them and, and do their work better. Um, and sometimes guys come by, you got such and such? Yeah, yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, it's easy. It, I feel in the last couple of years so much better with myself that I can give away some of these things I have twos and threes and fours of because I'm never going to need that. And if I have it, I haven't used it in a year or two, I'll give it to you. You can bring it back when you get done. You know, it's just, that's the way wood turners are. You're like I am. You got into it all, all late in life. You don't want to spend a lot of money. This isn't a lot of money. You don't have a great camera. Everybody's pocket camera does these pictures. Everybody. Well, maybe not yours, Bob. But that's okay. Um, but you can take it with a cheap camera. A couple of other things. When you're taking it with a camera, don't be afraid to get up close. And I mean up close. Get that camera front and center. Boom! Right there. Right in its face. Why? Because all this other stuff doesn't matter. This is the important thing. So bring it in to where you can see it. You don't need the flash get it lit right. If it's not lit right, the flash will come on. But if you light it right, and that just means adding a little more room light. Remember, if you can stand here, I'm going to get the bowl, you can stand here, look at this, and see all the features on it. You see all the light I've got in the shop. And that ain't shop light, that's F32s. See it all, then you're going to get that picture. If you don't see it all and it's in the dark, sort of like that is, then all this is not going to be very well in the picture. So get a, get a light fixture of some sort, put a drape over it, don't set it on fire, generate a little light. 
It's your piece of work. It's your art. It's the thing that you came out in the shop to do and have fun at. This is what you're all about. So you want to show it off and brag on it. And I accomplished this. A guy sent me a picture of a piece the other day. I still don't know what it was. I can't pick it out. He put it on a flowered piece of fabric. That it looked really nice in the Sears catalog. And it looked really nice in the, in the, in the catalog for the, for, the, for the people that made these sheets. But for you, you're selling this, not the sheet. So get this in the picture. And almost all of us have a computer. And in the computer, you can resize the picture by chopping away and cropping it down. Play with it a little bit before you show it to the rest of the world. Remember, like I've been saying, it's your work. You're proud of it. You like it. Take a good picture. Send it to your friends. And hey, send it to me. That Ready for the ad? You ready? Okay. C A P N Eddie Castle and at gmail.com. All that. I'll leave it up there for a moment. But send an email to this. And I'll put it in my newsletter. But hey, put your name on it. Maybe the wood you turned it out of. I get a lot of unknown photographs and I'm afraid to use them because maybe you copied them from somebody. So, you know, put, put some stuff on it so I can use it. Well, let's see. We talked about taking pictures of your work so you can show off your immediate gratification that you receive when you turn something really nice on your lake. That's what you got into this for, to do something nice and share it with people. Don't get me started on this selling stuff at flea markets and craft shows. I don't go there. You know why I don't go there? Because I realized I could give it to my friends and they could give it to other friends and I could share it with people and everybody will enjoy it. If I need to in increase my my uh, my income, I'm going to work at McDonald's. Well, I'm too smart to work at McDonald's. I have to go somewhere. But <clears throat> I'm teasing with you. All right? I don't eat there anymore since, well, since. <clears throat> I I really want to say something else, but you know I'm going to get in trouble, and I'll get a lot of mail from it again, so I'm not going to go there. Take a picture of your work. Show your work off. Show people what you can do. Be proud of it. Stand up. You are a wood turner, and you are having fun, and if that's what's going on, you're so far ahead of the ball, it's unbelievable. So far ahead. All right. And don't forget, we're here at Big Eye Productions, www.eddycastellan.com. We sell the cutters, we sell the bars, we have the screws, we have all of, We have a lot of the things that you need to keep the carbide world going, except the price that the other guy gets. All right. He gets $17 plus $5 freight for one cutter. We get $22 and $4 freight for three cutters. I was only good at math one time in my life when I married my wife and the one plus one became one. But you can do the math on the rest of it. And it works out to mean you're going to benefit over this. So when you have fun, when you're sharing, when you're doing this, share your work. Get out there and do it. And if you need parts and pieces, give us a call. I might have rambled a little bit today, but it's raining, and the cold front's coming. <laughs> I'm not going to be out here all day. I'm going to go back in and watch the NASCAR race. And this is the last one to see. It's pretty good. All right. Until next time, I'm Captain Eddie Castellan, and you're not. And I'm making shavings. You're not. you got to get out and shop and have some fun. See you later. Take care. Oh, there, I hope there's a screen full of details that comes up after everything. It's just to help when you stop the camera and you can write down what you need to write down. Because I can't read it and write it at the same time. Oh, hell, I had a brain tumor. Okay, <laughs> you take care. Be good.